Hello, I'm Chirizi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to start using your AWS Certificate Manager certificate after you have requested it or you have imported it. Let's get started. After you log into the AWS Management Console, the first step is to locate your ACM certificate. You can find a list of all certificates managed by ACM by navigating to the AWS Certificate Manager Console. On the top navigation bar, enter Certificate Manager. Choose List Certificates from the navigation pane. You can now see the list of certificates managed by ACM. If you don't have any certificates, choose Request. Select Request a Public Certificate and then choose Next. For domain names, enter your domain name. Optionally, you can choose Add another name to this certificate. Select a validation method so that ACM can verify that the domain name that you are requesting the certificate for belongs to you. It is recommended to choose DNS validation method. Now choose Request. Choose the View Certificate button. To validate the domain name, add the provided CNAME record to your domain name's DNS database. If you use Amazon Route 53 to manage your public DNS records and your domain is hosted in the same account, then you can directly update your records through the ACM console. Choose the Create Records in Route 53 button and then choose Create Records. If you don't use RAW53 to manage your public DNS records, contact your DNS provider to find how to add records. After you validate the domain, the certificate status is issued. After you locate your certificate in the list, it's almost ready to use on your website or application. The next step is to associate the certificate with an AWS service that integrates with ACM. Some key services that integrate with ACM certificates include Elastic Load Balancing, Amazon CloudFront, and Amazon API Gateway. To use your certificate with an application load balancer, create a new load balancer and then associate the certificate during setup. On the top navigation bar, enter Load Balancer. Choose Create Load Balancer. Under Application Load Balancer, choose Create. Under Basic Configuration, enter a load balancer name. For Scheme, choose Internet Facing. For IP Address Type, choose IPv4. Select the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud that you used for your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances. Check at least two availability zones and one subnet per AZ. Select an existing security group or create a new one. Under Listeners and Routing, choose Add Listener and then choose Protocol HTTPS, Port 443 and a Target Group. For security policy, it's a best practice to use the latest predefined security policy. Under Default SSL TLS Server Certificate, choose From ACM and then select a certificate in the drop-down list. Note that the certificate must be in the same region as your load balancer. Review your configurations and then choose Create Load Balancer. To use the certificate with Amazon CloudFront, you must update your CloudFront distribution settings to use the ACM certificate. On the top navigation bar, enter CloudFront. Select the ID of a distribution. In Settings, choose Edit. For alternate domain name, CNAME, choose Add Item and then enter your alternate domain name. Choose the Custom SSL Certificate drop-down list and then choose your certificate. Note that the certificate must be in the US East 1 region. Now choose Save Changes. 
For Amazon API Gateway, you can set up a custom domain name and then select your ACM certificate to secure it. On the top navigation bar, enter API Gateway. Choose Custom Domain Names from the main navigation pane. Choose Create. Under Domain Details, enter a domain name. Under Endpoint Configuration, you have two options. You can choose Regional to associate the custom domain name with a specific AWS region to optimize intra-region latency. Or you can choose Edge Optimized to associate the custom domain name with an API endpoint that CloudFront replicates across AWS region. Choose an ACM certificate. Then choose Create Domain Name. The process can vary for other integrated services. So check for the option to select your ACM certificate when you configure SSL TLS settings. Note that ACM certificates cannot be installed directly on resources such as Amazon EC2 instances. ACM integrates with ACM integrated services only. And now you know how to start using your ACM certificate after you requested it or you imported it. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.